Open source software is computer software that is freely distributed and available for anyone to use. Normally, it is available free of charge. The key idea behind open source software is collaboration. The source code is accessible to all, and the intention is that it can be improved and iterated on for the benefit of all users. OSS is used widely by developers across a variety of industries, and when used correctly, OSS can make software development easier, faster, and cheaper. For example, a developer might use OSS scripts for simple and commonly used functions, saving them time having to write the code for these functions themselves, and freeing them up to write more bespoke code. Open source software can be contrasted with proprietary software, where the source code essentially is not generally available and cannot be used for software development or creation of further software. Normally only the owner of the software will work on the code, so the development of proprietary software is essentially a centralized process. In terms of how open source came to be, the origins of open source software date back to the 1970s. At MIT, a community developed around sharing computer software. That community ultimately collapsed in the 80s due to a conflict between hardline supporters of free software, on the other hand, and others who are looking to exploit proprietary software. Since then, we've seen the establishment of other organizations in the open source software space, such as the Free Software Foundation, that has some of the most commonly used open source software licenses, such as the GNU General Public License, also known as the GPL. There's also the Open Source Initiative, who were responsible for initially coining the term open source, and their aim is to provide a standard for what qualifies as an open source software and to promote open source generally. While OSS does provide a variety of benefits, its use can entail several drawbacks. Firstly, certain OSS license terms require that derivative works, which are works created using or incorporating the OSS, are to be licensed in the same way as the OSS itself, so effectively to be made freely available. This means that when valuable proprietary software is built on or uses OSS, then a company may be prevented from commercially exploiting that software. This very much depends on what OSS is used and how it is used in software development. Secondly, the community development element of OSS is no guarantee of an effective product. Developers can introduce bugs or other problems with the code. Additionally, the ease of accessibility means that multiple developers can develop the same code simultaneously, making it difficult to identify the most appropriate version. Finally, due to a lack of a centralised controller pushing out patches to fix bugs in OSS, this creates the potential for security vulnerabilities. Organisations using OSS need to have processes in place to regularly check for updates. OSS is very common these days. It will likely come up in diligence in the software sector. Many of the applications and programmes we use every day contain OSS. For example, Android phone systems contain OSS. Mozilla Firefox browser, Ubuntu mobile operating system and the Linux operating system commonly used in organisations are all examples of OSS. Oh,